I think it's interesting because everyone comes from different places to be on board and everyone has different reasons for being on board, whether it be just kind of checking it out or this is the project they're doing for their PhD. Obviously, I had a lot of expectations, so I was really excited being able to go to sea. Working in the marine environment is quite different and it's much more demanding. The ship is a laboratory, it's, it's constantly making measurements. We stop and we make more measurements. The ocean is a pathway for heat. This pathway has a barrier in it, and that barrier is the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. And this project is actually about understanding how that boundary between the warm and, warm and north waters allows heat to leak across it into the colder polar waters. The first few days were very hectic, trying to understand what people actually do on board, what our life was going to be, what we'd have to know, what we'd be in charge of. I really like it in this particular um, expedition, uh, in the sense that we are doing a lot of things. So I, I use drawing primarily as a method of inquiry. Drawing becomes, I guess, a communi communication tool, but also a tool for thinking and, and trying to understand something which we perhaps don't know so well. And so the scientists are doing a similar type of process using different tools, but the ways that they operate can be kind of similar. So we're on 12 hour shifts and mine is 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. So I wake up around 12, sometimes one. CTD stands for conductivity, temperature, and depth. The temperature and depth are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the conductivity is the way we measure how salty the water is. And usually we'll do two, maybe even three CTDs in a shift. So that involves you know, sitting in the ops room, staring at those lines on the screen for three and a half hours, pouring freezing water on your hands for an hour, <laughs> and then doing it again. It can get repetitive and you can sort of lose count of what day of the week it is, how many CTDs you've done, you know, where are we in the ocean, but I think it's, it's always fun because of the people you're around and those small group of people you spend 12 hours of shift on every single day, you form a real bond and you sing songs together and draw pictures together and you find ways to really support each other and, and keep each other entertained while still getting good work done. <laughs> What is going on here? Is that a finger warming technique or...? <laughs> um, but with the... We actually do get to mix things up a bit because with the VMPs, which is an instrument that we deploy from outside, so then we get to go outside, change of scenery. It could be cold out there, but it's often a lot of fun. So the VMP is a vertical microstructure profiler. So basically the VMP just looks like a long cylinder and the probes are on the bottom of the cylinder. And this is where the joke of the toilet brush comes in, is like the bristles that you have all around it actually do make it look like a toilet brush. The thing that's new in our understanding of the Southern Ocean is that Antarctica is losing mass. Warm waters from the ocean can erode it from below. If 
the circulation continues to warm, it has a capacity to think about a quite different, quite different world. And so it's actually urgent right now to unravel those processes around what's melting Antarctica. So we need to know it so that we can kind of provide the information that society needs. The hope is that we have such a comprehensive survey of this meander and, and then hopefully that can inform future measurements, where we go measure things in the future and also how we represent things in climate models. On a, on a personal level, I'm hoping that this is an opportunity to form a lot of collaborations because there's a lot of people that have different experience and skills on this voyage and when we get back there's all this work to do um, as a team so I'm, I'm excited about being engaged in a really collaborative uh, work out of this. It's certainly an invaluable experience um, in the sense of all the things that you need to go through in order to be able to do research and also meet all new people. Yeah, make friends, I suppose, which is really important. Being able to enjoy that sensation of being nowhere, but at the same time being so close to what you really love, in my case, the ocean, it's invaluable. Well, morale is very important on board, and in my experience, you've got to have at least one party for some kind of holiday event. <laughs>